All right, so this is the first goal of the game, courtesy of New York City's Gabby Perea, who's highlighted on your screen. And you're going to see here the Union just playing out of the back with Jacob Glissus into Jose Martinez into Olivier Baizo. And Baizo's going to give the ball right back to Jose Martinez. And on your screen, you can see that the Union are in a triangle. And this is something I always pay attention to on the field. This is something if you grew up playing soccer, your coaches are teaching you at a young age that you always want to make a square on the field you, you always want to have different passing options and I'm always looking at this always looking at the rotation from the players always looking okay where's the squares on the field because like I said it, it gives you different passing options Jose Martinez could have squared this ball to Liam Flock and then Liam Flock could have squared the ball to Olivier Mbizo instead New York City bring good pressure on Jose Martinez he doesn't have much time to take a touch and then take that pass. It should have been, hey, look, let's go ahead and pass it straight to Leon Flock here. Instead, he gets the ball taken right off his foot. And now here goes New York City on the transition from defense to offense. And when you look at it, it's not terribly defended right away from the Union. Yes, you have Jacob Glesnes a little bit wide, but, you know, he's in 1v1 defending out wide. You have Jose Martinez on... Richie Ledesma, you have Jack Elliott on Santi Rodriguez, who has the ball, and then you have Damian Lowe on Gabby Perea. And where this goes bad for the Union is where Jack Elliott steps to go to the ball, Jose Martinez doesn't follow the run of Ledesma, and that forces Damian Lowe to play the ball and absolutely takes out Ledesma, which would have been a penalty if Gabby Perea doesn't finish his terrific finish. But right here, Jack Elliott out of position, steps, a little bit too aggressive to the ball, could have stayed maybe a little bit conservative, just let Santi Rodriguez come to him. Instead, that does not happen, and it's a terrific finish there by Gabby Perea. But this could have been avoided. If Jose Martinez would have released the ball a lot sooner, instead it puts the Union in a terrible position. So here's the second goal of the game, the first for the Philadelphia Union. And as Tyler Terrans and Devin Kerr called it on the broadcast, this is just route one stuff here from the Philadelphia Union. A long ball over the top to Julian Kranza from Jack Elliott. This is a terrific first touch, chest down by Julian Kranza with a terrific low-driven shot here against Luis Brazo. He could do nothing with this. And I was talking with some friends during the game saying the Union are playing way too many long balls in this game with how narrow this field is. The Union only played 57 long balls, which is below their average of 79 per game. But still, I, I wanted the Union to keep the ball on the ground. I thought they should. But, you know, this is just typical Philadelphia Union stuff, just bypassing the midfield with long balls over the top. Uh, you can see, again, Julian Kranza is highlighted here. And just watch him put his arm up to Jack Elliott, indicating, hey, look, play me the ball here. I have the best of the center back here, Tiago Martins. And this could have been a lot better defended by Martins. This is terrible defense, but credit to Julian Carranza for that, that, that terrific chest down and the finish. You, you can't teach this stuff in 1-1. All right, so this is the third goal of the evening, the second for the Philadelphia Union, courtesy of Julian Kranza. On this play here, you're going to see Andre Blake collect easily on a New York City corner kick. And you see Andre Blake just roll this ball out to Jose Martinez, who has uh, a ton of space to run into. Julian Kranza, again, is highlighted. And, and watch how quickly the Union break from defense to offense here. Great ball forward by Jose Martinez. And smart by Daniel Gaza to let Mikhail Uwe to run on to this ball. Highlighted on your screen is Kevin O'Toole of New York City. And the reason being is because he's not even aware of the run, of the space that Julian Kranza is able to run into. And because of that, Julian Kranza is able to take a first touch and then his second touch is obviously the shot. So he's able to pick his corner where he wants to aim the shot. And that's just terrible defending by New York City. A terrible corner kick and the union credit to them Andre Blake heads up play realizing that hey look we can quickly transition and he rolls this ball out here quickly finds Jose Martinez and, and good job by Jose to be aware of this and uh, this is what the union have built on just quick transitions 
great awareness here by Daniel Gosling sees Mikel Uwa in the space and allows Mikel just to go ahead and run onto that ball. And Mikel is able to find Julian Kranza to put the Union up. All right, so this is the fourth and final goal of the night, the third for the Philadelphia Union. And we're going to see the Union just play out of the back with Damian Lowe to Andre Blake. And just like the Union scored their two previous goals, it's a long ball up top, this time from Andre Blake. And credit to Julian Kranza for continuing his run after Mikel Ua wins this header. And this is the second time we saw on the night Julian Kranza get the best of Tiago Martins. And so initially on the field, they yell penalty. And re-watching this, it looks like Julian Kranza gets fouled just outside of the box. And they decide to have a look at VAR to see, okay, is this a denial of a goal-scoring opportunity, Dogzo? And if that is the case, then it's a red card for Martins. And VAR decides, all right, no red card, but it still is a penalty. And I'm not quite sure exactly, even watching this back with you guys, how this is a penalty. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comment section how this play was a penalty, but I'm not sure how. Looking at it, both Julian Kranz's feet are well outside the box. Are they saying it's because Tiago Martins has his hands on the back of Julian Kranz's neck and Julian Kranz's head's inside the penalty spot? I'm not sure if that's the case at all. I mean, it, it's clearly a foul. I think we can all agree on that. But a penalty, I, I I, don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure why and how this is a penalty. Somebody can maybe tell me in the comment section what I'm missing here. It, it's for sure a foul. Is it a red card? I, I don't think so. Julian Kranz's touch takes him away from goal. So I, I do think VR gets this right that it is no red card. But penalty, again, I'm just not quite sure. But uh, regardless, Daniel Gardens dog converts the penalty, puts Union up 3-1. And the Union are now going to go ahead and have four straight wins in all competitions against New York City. The last loss came in 2021 against NYCFC in the Eastern Conference final game.